Salutations and good morrow everyone and welcome back to another Grounded Update video where today I am hopping in and looking at some of the awesome things that got added within the Hot and Hazy update that were hidden in the code that can only be brought out by doing an admin code to look up all items. So this is going to be full of spoilers. So if you guys are not looking to be spoiled, make sure you guys click off the video right now and also please make sure you guys hit the like button. Leave me a comment down below that says thanks so much for not spoiling or giving us the warning. But let's Let's hop in and let's talk about everything that is inside of the crafting menu inside of the natural resources tab that is inside of the hot and hazy update that is new that is not in the update yet. So obviously as I've talked about before we have the lab chairs those have been in the update for a while now okay. Those have been in the game for a little while before you guys get excited and say, what are those? Literally, this is an actual chair that was shrunk down to use in labs. You stole this. So yes, this is more or less them saying, hey, use it in the admin code to get in here. Don't do that. So I'm not going to tell you guys the admin code that I use or how to use them because the grounded team has asked me not to do that. But let's keep going. So first of all, thorns. Thorns are cool. They're a sharp, sturdy barb used from the stem of a rose. We do have rose bushes in the game, but we do not have the availability to harvest thorns yet. I do believe this will be used for some sort of trap later on in the game. Going down, we have... Uh, just going down, we have all of these. We have a shiny ant head. Shiny ants are not in the game yet. This is more or less a rare part that's supposed to be in the game. It's not in the game yet, so don't worry about that. It's just a rare ant part. Black ant eggs, you guys can see that they are used to make the amel ant. The amel ant, the fine blind ant, black ant eggs, you do need to go to the bottom of the ant hill. We'll talk about that in another video. Fertilizer, I do believe that this is going to come at some point in the future of the game, that it's it's probably going to be in the shed when you find it and this fertilizer is used in order to fertilize your plant life or your uh, garden beds that you are growing. Going down a little bit more, we'll keep on going down. Polaroid picture, this is an invalid game item. It's probably not coming to the game. It's just an extra thing. It's probably just going to be set off. All right, so going down, stink bug plating. This is supposed to be a third item that's going to come off of stink bugs. Not sure when this is going to come to the game, as well as ladybug wings and uh, just le regular weevil parts. None of these have actually been added, including the grub faceplate. So all these are just kind of extra items that could come later in the game to craft other items. I'm not not super excited about these ones these have been in the game for a little while um, and aren't really new to the hot and hazy update the same thing goes for the strider legs now i do want to point out this tadpole slime this tadpole slime that's in the game this kind of interests me because let's read the title here it's a slime gathered from the corpse of a tadpole usable as a lubricant for gear okay so we can't actually harvest tadpole slime yet but lubricant for gear this is pretty freaking cool this could lead to things that are using gears to move things around engines stuff like that so pretty cool thing to see tadpole slime getting added to the game lily pad membrane this is just a piece of waxy lily pad that can be used for waterproofing gear uh got taken out cattail fluff a bundle of fluffy seeds from the head of a cattail plant, warm and insulating. This is what leads me to believe we're going to be getting a cold zone at some point in the game. We have not gotten it yet, but I do believe we're going to get it at some point in the game. And you're going to need some sort of warm and insulating clothing, or it could have something to do with the awesome new... Um, areas that they could add to the game that maybe you'll need some cold gear in order to explore there or weather. All right, uh, leech sacks. Well, it goes to show leech sacks. These have been in the game since the pond update and um, nothing new has been added. So really right now, that's just a item that's been in these development codes for a while. There is no leeches in the game. I'm hoping that means we're still going to get them in the game, but no new information there yet. Same thing goes for the strider legs. Okay, so the black ant gear is all the same. Pupa hide. This gets me excited as well because this could lead to a new enemy or bug that could be coming to the game because as we know we have larva in the game so if we get a pupa as well maybe the larva turns into a pupa then it you know burst out into whatever have be it's going to be but the fact that there's going to be pupa in the game at some point could be really really cool but there's nothing stating what the pupa is of or what it's going to be towards so i'll leave that up for your guys' speculation or you guys can let me know down in the comments all right, so going on a little bit lower, you'll see once again, we have shiny ant head in three different locations here. That doesn't make sense other than this ant head's green, which looks cool. Maybe we're going to get some sort of infected ant that's green at some point. 
Um, but yeah, these are the head of a shiny ant. See, they, they don't really point to anything. This green ant head is pretty cool, but I don't know if this is actually pointing to the fact we're going to get green ants at any time in the game. But I do want to point out that it is tier three. Okay, so hardened sprig and reinforced with resin sturdy, superbly sturdy. This could be for build new building items in the game. Uh, resin, well, applied to materials to strengthen them. I do believe that this and this go hand in hand. Nectar slurry. This is a thick paste of blended nectar. This could be pointing towards a new thing that we can tame in the backyard, which I'm pretty excited about. Ant acid as well, a forming acid distilled from acid glands smells like vinegar. So this could be getting from some sort of spitting ant in the future as well. I know that we already have acid glands from certain ants, but we could be getting some sort of spitting ant. Maybe it's the shiny ants. Who knows, but we could be getting that in the future as well. Scrolling down a little bit more, we've seen all of these before. We have raw cricket meat. That's been seen before in the development files. This just goes out to show it's a dead chunk of cricket, so we may be getting crickets at some point in the future. Um, going down a little bit more um, all of this is all of the same except we do have donut chunks in here if we look these textures are not yet complete a fresh a piece of fresh sugar donut uh, sugar filled donut looks brand new but it would but it could be ancient so it's supposed to be a snack it's not in the game yet there's fresh donut chunks and regular donut chunks not yet in the game the scuba mask is some sort of crazy science mask that allows the body to breathe while underwater veteran diver plus two um, this thing is not anywhere near development. It doesn't even have an item thing here, an item picture. I do believe that this is just a uh, placeholder for another item that may be coming later in the game. I do not believe that this is actually coming. Uh, we have the rotten gear that we've talked about before. Um, we have a marksman cap, which looks the same as our standard marksman cap, but normally looks a little bit different. And But it gives the same exact stats. It's the tier three hat. I don't know why. But... Let's look right here that I just clicked on that crashed my game that I literally cannot click on. All right, let me relaunch my game here and get back in there again. Okay, so we're back in here again, and um, I do want to point out that this termite armor right here, I cannot actually click on it because once I clicked on it, it literally crashed my game. But this does tell me that we are going to be getting termites at some point in this game. So termites have been confirmed at least by seeing this. So to me, termites confirmed to be coming to grounded at some point. This is the same way we found out that roly polies were coming to the game and also that we were getting black ants that were coming to the game. So this is really cool to see this. Once again, this is definitely spoiler, but we are gonna be getting something like that in the future. Also debug sword, don't worry about that. Buoyancy thingy, also once again, just an extra thing in the game that's not important. This is just a placeholder for a perk that gets put onto other things, so don't worry about that. Axe tier three. So tier three axe, tier three hammer. Both of these get me excited. I have no idea what they could be used for. It's, it is tier three. It has the same damage as the standard axe right now. It says axe made up of sharp, strong bug parts, sturdier, more durable than the pebble axe. That's literally the same description as the tier two axe, as the insect axe and the insect hammer. So those are still work in progress. Then we have the rotten black ant shovel. I have no idea where they're going to put this in the game, but it does point out that there's probably going to be a new zone put into the game where we are going to be getting a rotten black ant shovel basketball this is just a pebblet just so you know they never intend to put an actual basketball in the game it is just a pebblet um ultimate armor glue this is old it's not in the game anymore compass hopefully at some point we get this but so far the only way to actually get this into the game is to use uh either a mod or getting into the admin codes and forcing it in uh, Clover Glider, this has been in the game for far too long and has not been added, so I have no idea when they plan on actually adding a Clover Glider into the game. I'm hoping at some point, but I'm not holding my breath at this point. Uh, Rotten Slime lan Lantern, this is whatever. Invalid, minus one game items, I won't even click on that because what that is supposed to be is a boomerang, but at the end of the day, it is something that has officially been taken out of the game as just an invalid game item, so it's just for the code. Don't worry about it. It's not important. Grinder, we have this. This was the old grinder layout. This is a, it's before they put in a new one. And then pet memorials, obviously. And then as we go down, this is just all of the smoothies all the way to the bottom. So the things that excite me the most right now are this termite armor that we found that's right here, as well as the 
larva gear or the the i'm sorry not the larva gear but the tadpole slime that's going to be pointing to some sort of gears that we're going to be getting in the future this lubricant for gear gets me the most excited so hopefully that leads to all sorts of cool things but that is going to do it for this video guys so thank you all so much for watching this video hope you guys liked it if you did hit that like button for me let me know you guys want to see more also please don't forget to leave a comment down below and also please don't forget to subscribe and as always i'll see you guys in the next one